Let's have a look at the other data structure, the range trees. Here the idea was that we have one first level tree that just sorts the points by x coordinate. We get our uh, canonical subsets there. And then for every su canonical subset, we have a second level tree that stores the y coordinates of the points in it. So how could this look like here? We have again our v split. We find what is the left boundary of the query rectangle, what is the right boundary, and we get these canonical sets. Now with each of these nodes, we have to find some second level tree. So we take our vertex u, we have the right child, this is the canonical subset, and then we have some auxiliary subtree that has all those points sorted by the y coordinates. So this points to some auxiliary subtree tv. And now here we do the query again, but for the top bottom and the top boundary of our query rectangle. That's the only difference that we have to the one-dimensional case. In the one-dimensional case, we just reported all these points. Now we again have to do a one-dimensional query in this auxiliary tree. And the, symmetrically, we do the same for the red path. So for all of these canonical subsets, do our one-dimensional range query. Let's try to construct such a range tree. So we again want to write some pseudocode that is the build 2D range tree for some points at P. And for that, what we do is first we construct the second level tree on the whole point set. So we construct the tree that contains all the points sorted by Y coordinate. That's the auxiliary tree that we have to attach to the root. Now we want to continue. We again have a recursive function. So if we only have one point left, then we create a leaf. And that leaf points to the auxiliary tree TP that also has just this point inside. Otherwise, if we have more than two points in the recursion, recursion left, then we do something very similar to before. We find the median, so the median x coordinate of our points. We get our set P left and P right those that lie to the left or on it, and those that lie to the right. And we build recursively the 2D range tree of these two point sets. Then we create an internal node that points to these two range trees that we find. And also to an auxiliary tree that contains all the points inside here sorted by Y coordinate. And that we built here. And that is the whole construction. What is the running time of this? Well, first we have to do the second level tree on P. And this is a one dimensional range tree. And the one dimensional range tree is just a binary search tree. So to build this, we take order of n log n time. That means that in every step of the recursion, we need order of n log n time. So our recurrence before for the KD trees, it was order of n plus 2 t n over 2. Now it's order of n log n plus 2 t n over 2. So this takes much more time than before, because now we don't get an n log n algorithm, but an n log squared n. I still would like to do it in order of n log n time. So do you have any idea how we can overcome this, that we and every step have to sort all the points by y order to build the second level tree? Well, the thing is, if we look at this recurrence, we we'll first build the 2D range tree of the left child, and then the 2D range tree of the right child. In both of these steps, we have to take all these points and sort them by y order to get the auxiliary tree of this left child and of the right child. So we have all the points in here, all the points in here already sorted. We have all the points in here already sorted. And now we want to combine them to a sorted tree of all the points in here. And that's basically a merge operation. 
So we pre-sort everything in the beginning and then we build the tree bottom up in linear time. In every step we can just take all these points. We have these two sorted sequences and we do a merge step of the merge sort algorithm. We pick the smallest of the two, add it, take the next one, add it, and so on. And since we add them in ordered fashion, we can build the whole tree in order of n time. So now we don't need order of n log n in every step, but only order of n. And then we have the exact same recurrence formula as we had for the KD trees, and the total construction time is again order of n log n.